Creating a Facebook event and putting it up and assuming people are gonna show up doesn't generally work. So today I'm gonna to give you 10 tips to make sure your Facebook event reaches as many people as possible. And guess what? They're all free to do. Thank you for watching 5 Minute Social Media. If you have watched our videos before, welcome back. If not, I teach you how to do the best possible social media in the least amount of time. I am a social media geek and I am a productivity geek, so this works well for me and hopefully for you as well. I'm gonna give you 10 easy tips for making sure your Facebook event actually reaches people and by the end, you're gonna have a much better time with Facebook events. I know some people get frustrated with them. I use these for my clients and it's very effective. And if you've got a tip that you think people would enjoy, uh, please drop it in the comments. I would love to see it as well. Tip number one, keep the name of your Facebook event short because it'll get cut off on a lot of devices. And if somebody can't even see the main part of your event's name, what are the odds they're gonna to wanna to go to it? So this is where you leave out the 27th annual Royal Gala of blah, 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 and you just go beer tasting or whatever it might be. You can have the at the beginning if you need it, but take out all unnecessary words or move them later in the event title. Keep it short and sweet. Tip number two, optimize your event's image. The good news is this has gotten way easier than it used to be. It used to be that your event images looked one way on desktop computers and differently on tablets and differently on phones. Now Facebook has made them all the same size and they're pretty much all gonna show. So make your event image 1920 by 1080 and you should be all set. And finally, avoid the temptation to put a bunch of text on your image. First of all, Facebook doesn't like text on images because they think it clutters up the newsfeed, so they won't show it to many people just because you put a bunch of text on there. It's okay to have one or two little things, but don't make it look like a nightclub flyer with <laughs> 400 words on it. A nice, beautiful picture is the best way to go. Tip number three, include sponsors and vendors as your co-hosts. Facebook now has a tool where you can actually have multiple brands co-host an event that makes it easier for them to help co-promote it, and they can also post in the event and draw new people to it. Now, be careful. Only do that with uh, sponsors that you trust, but it's a great tool to reach more people. Tip number four, if people are gonna be working at the event, employees, have them mark that they are going to be there. Easy for them to do, and it makes it look immediately like people are already going to the event. Nobody wants to be the first one to a party, and nobody wants to be the first one to mark that they're going to a Facebook event either. Tip number five, half the staff that are going invite their friends that might be interested. Now don't have them invite everybody, all of their Facebook friends, because that's just spammy and annoying, but have them invite the ones that you think might actually want to go. Another way to get early interest in the Facebook event. Tip number six, don't invite everyone. Some people go through and invite everyone on their friends list, and frankly, that's annoying, and again, spammy. Facebook actually has a limit. You can invite each individual profile, like my personal page, I can invite up to 500 friends to an event. But they have been known to cut that off early if I go and try and invite a bunch of people and nobody responds to it because then they assume that you're spamming people. But each person who is part of your event can invite up to 500 friends that may be interested. So use your invites carefully. Tip number seven, ask people that are already going to share the event. Sometimes people are afraid to ask for favors like that, but you've got people who are already excited about going to the event and maybe they want to invite other friends or family to go. The other thing to do is when you ask, ask in a way that value is added for them, not for you, the event planner. So for example, if it's a networking event, hey, thinking about who else you'd like to run into at this event and get a chance to talk to, take a second and invite them or share it with them. Tip number eight, post about the event. Creating your Facebook event is only the first step. After that, you'll still wanna do social media posts, whatever you feel is frequently enough about the event to keep introducing new people to it. Organically, your event will stop reaching people as soon as people stop engaging with the event. So you can always spend some money to boost the event to more people, but to, for free, you can always just post more about the event and then get new people engaged that way. Tip number nine, post in the event. The event pages have their own news feed and you can actually post in there and get people excited. You can say, you know, if, you're, if it's a food affair, hey, what are you more excited to try? This picture or this picture? Or hey, what do you think our MC should wear tonight? This uh, red tuxedo or this clown costume? Lots of different ways to get people excited that way for the event by posting in the actual event. And tip number 10, don't rely entirely on Facebook. Facebook events are a great way to market your event and reach a bunch of new people, but whatever you've been doing traditionally in the past, 
do that as well. If you do flyers, you do email campaigns, different things like that. Don't rely entirely on Facebook. Put it all together with the Facebook event and you will have huge success. So good luck on your next event. If you got something out of this video, I would love it if you took a second to click like. Of course, you can also comment below if you have any questions. And please take a second to subscribe to 5 Minute Social Media because I'm going to keep making these videos teaching you to do the best possible social media in the least amount of time. Thank you for watching.